Welcome to Agoracom, small cap epicenter on Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced, edgy show bringing the best press release out of the small cap space every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great small cap investments Friday, November the 19th. Typically, you'd expect to be a slow news cycle day, but resources are just doing too well. They're too hot. Got great news out for you. Let's start you off first with out of China, Ying Li Green Energy trades over there on the NYSE on the stock symbol uh, YGE. They put out their third quarter 2010 results. This is for the period ended September 30th. If you didn't see their ads during the World Cup, this is one of the world's largest, a quarter of the company, one of the world's largest vertically integrated photovoltaic manufacturers, which means they're in the solar energy space. Here are the highlights. Net revenues, $491 million. That's an increase of 25% quarter over quarter. Looks like that's that, uh, that World Cup advertising did very well for them. Operating income, $110 million. Got to love that. Net income, $68.2 million. Uh, when you, uh, in, uh, from a dilute earnings per share, per, per share point of view, that translates to 44 cents per share. Uh, pretty good number considering they closed yesterday at $10.73. Because if you extrapolate that number over four quarters, you can close to the dollar seventy range, and that puts them uh, about six times earnings. Now that is a big stretch. If they can repeat that performance, uh, they may do better, they may do worse. But uh, on its face, looks like a pretty good number. Uh, their 52-week high, $19.11. So they are way out their 52-week high. Make sure you go take a look. Make sure there weren't any negative uh, negative events that impact the company's stock. They do distribute their products around the world, including Germany, Spain, Italy, Greece, France, South Korea, China, and the United States. Some of that makes me nervous because you've got Spain, Italy, and Greece that are all part of the uh, the latest uh, sovereign sovereign debt problems in uh, in the in Europe. Nonetheless, great press release out of the company, uh, and go take a good look at that. Next up, trading on the TSX Venture Exchange, Evolving Gold, EVG. This company is no secret to Agoracom viewers and watchers of this show. Uh, they are a past client of ours, great performer. Uh, and yesterday they put out great news. They put this out in the afternoon. That's why we're talking about it right now. Uh, it turned out that they generated about one and a half million shares of volume just a couple of hours. That tells you what this news was like and how it was recepted specifically. Uh, they're saying they've discovered gold mineralization at their Jake, Jake Creek project in Nevada. Uh, their highlight holding here, 45.7 meters at 0.97 grams ton of gold, including 29 meters at 1.33 grams ton. Uh, these, the company says these are the first two drill holes at their 100% owned Jake Creek project property that's in north central nevada and they're saying they both intersected gold mineralization in a previously unexplored system uh here are the highlights jc005 that was the headline hole jc001 intersected multiple zones of anomalous gold uh jc002 through four remain to be drilled the high grade intersection in that headline number uh is the company says is at a depth similar to that mine in the nearby ken snyder mine in the midas district so trying to say there's some similarity there. It is early, but the market responded very, very well, driving the stock up to about a high 99 for the day, closed at 98 on big volume, 52-week high, $1.32, 52-week low, 69 cents. Next up, VMS Ventures, trades on TSX Venture Exchange under the stock symbol, VMS. Uh, they reported 2.93% copper over 63.7 meters. Uh, this is whole RLD006. This is infill drilling at the Reed Lake Joint Venture. Uh, that joint venture is between VMS and Hud Bay Minerals. Uh, very well known. People are very excited about this. Uh, the Reed Lake deposit is a base metal polymetallic massive sulfide type deposit. It's approximately 100 kilometers away from Hud Bay's concentrator in Flin Flon, Manitoba. They're saying that the program is proceeding on schedule with 22 holes now completed. That tells me more drill results coming. This is a client of Agoracom. Have to disclose that, but as always, we don't talk about Agoracom client news unless it stands on its own two feet. Uh, the latest results, according to the company, were focused on copper. We're focused on the copper and zinc rich lenses near surface. Closed yesterday, 45 cents, just off its 52 week high of 49 cents, way off its 52 week low of 20 cents. So, congratulations to VMS, Rick Mark, and his gang over there. And finally, on the uh, non-resources side, wanted to, wanted to let you know about this since it's a Friday. Liberator, Me Liberator Medical OTC LBMH reported record net revenues for the fourth quarter and the full year. Uh, let me look at this. Uh, record net revenues, approximately $11.5 million for the fourth quarter, $41 million for the entire year. The company saying those are both revenues. That fourth quarter number it represents an increase of 51.5%. 
8% sequentially. Got it like that. Uh, revenue represents an increase of 58.5% over last year. They closed yesterday, $1.35, 244 on the 52 week high, $1.15 on the 52 week low. That's a wrap. As always, if you look for more great small cap uh, companies, uh, then get up to the front page of Agoracom, watch the show, uh, take a look at the best headlines and get into our directory. Or if you're watching us on Globe Investor, uh, in the resources and commodity sections there, depending on where you are, I look below me or to the left of me, keep track of some of the best headlines that we're tracking in the space, as well as some great interviews and webcasts to provide you with great leads into potential investments. That's a wrap. Have a great weekend. I'll be in San Francisco for the Hard Assets uh, Metals Conference, so I won't be back. I won't be here Monday and Tuesday. Paul will be filling in. I'll see you on Wednesday. Otherwise, have a great day, great weekend.